Let's have a look at this question. This is useful for those who are preparing for uh, UPSC with economics optional or who are preparing for Indian economic services. Intuitively explain how growth can be explosive or decelerating in Harrod's model. Define warranted rate of growth and natural rate of growth. Pause the video, try to write an answer yourself and then come back. So what is warranted rate of growth? Warranted rate of growth is that rate of growth at which all savings are absorbed in investment, right? So it is that rate in case if economy is growing at that particular rate, at the warranted rate of growth, there would not be any explosion or there would not be any deceleration. So it is not going to be the case that the economy will unsustainably grow or economy will go in recession. That is warranted rate of growth uh, in very simple terms. So it is that rate of growth, in other words, at which uh, investments are equal to planned savings, right? Capital is fully employed and uh, the economy, there is no undercapacity or overcapacity in the economy. That is what warranted rate of growth is. What is natural rate of growth? Natural rate of growth is that rate at which labor is fully employed in the economy, right? So the natural rate of uh, growth is basically equal to the rate of growth of the potential labor force plus the rate of growth of labor productivity. Because your, your labor can also be more productive. The same amount of labor can also be more productive. So it will also be able to produce more and hence growth could also be larger. So that is what natural rate of growth is. So if we assume that the productivity of labor is constant and that is not growing, so natural rate of growth is equal to the uh, growth rate in the potential labor force. Now, this, is, this natural rate of growth is, is very important in the Harrods model. So I'll explain you why. Let me explain first of all the explosive uh, or decelerating, first of all. So what do you mean by explosive growth in Harrods model? So here we are talking about the unstable growth. Uh, why do we say that growth rate could be unstable in Harrods model? So it could be explosive or it could be decelerating. Why we are saying so? Let's talk about the explosive growth first. So when companies, they are planning for uh, investment, they are adjusting investment. What they are doing is that they are investing according to the planned or the anticipated demand. What is also possible is that the actual demand is more than the anticipated demand. When the actual demand is more than the anticipated demand, then what is going to happen? these firms uh, would think in their head that they have not invested enough. They are, uh, they are facing uh, less stocks, means their stocks are less, demand is more. So they think that they should be investing more so that they can increase their stocks because the demand is more. Now, when they invest more, that investment itself is going to drive the growth up. That increase in investment is going to drive the growth up. Growth was already more. Now, this more investment is again going to increase the growth further. So this is going to result in explosive growth. And this is what we have written. Please have a look at that. So what is possible is that whatever they have expected demand to be, the actual demand came out to be more than that. So they think that they have underinvested. They should be investing more. So they when, when they invest more, growth even becomes more. Uh, so it drives up the further investment. So this is going to result in the explosive growth. 
the opposite is going to happen in case of the decelerating growth so what do you mean by decelerating growth for example companies they have adjusted their investment according to the perceived demand according to the anticipated demand so they they expected demand to be something but the actual demand came out to be lesser than what that anticipated demand is they are not able to sell whatever they have invested whatever they are, they have built up their stocks to be so the unsold goods is going to increase the stocks are going to pile up they will think why to invest right now we have not been able to sell even the earlier goods so they will reduce the investment demand was already lesser than the anticipated demand so the growth was lesser now you are investing less growth is even going to be lesser because of that because you are investing less uh, so you started with the position of lower growth by investing less you are again you are again going to go deep down into even further lower growth so uh, this is what the decelerating investment is or decelerating growth is i'm sorry so i was telling you something about the uh, natural growth rate although this is not asked in the question not required but uh, supposedly the actual growth is growing up hmm. there is a natural growth rate also at that growth rate all the labor everything is fully employed the point which i want to make is that the growth rate it cannot be actual growth rate will not be more than the natural growth rate in the long run so when even if the growth rate is going up up and up the moment it is going to hit the natural growth rate it is going to stop there right it is going to stop there that's an idea so it is setting sort of an upper limit you can say to the actual growth rate that is what the idea is uh, so and when g is greater than gw that is your growth is greater than the warranted rate of growth growth is even going to further increase this is what we have seen in case of the explosive growth uh, but it cannot be more than gn because when the actual growth is going to hit gn uh, then at that particular point the growth is going to stop because you have employed all the labor all the resources which you have uh, that's an idea so uh, all the labor has been completely absorbed in the growth process and g cannot be greater than gn in the long run that's an idea so this question was about intuition intuitively telling what is uh, the how the instability problem is coming that is how the growth can be explosive or decelerating they are not talking anything about harrods knife edge problem although that knife edge problem is also coming from this only so i've tried to keep this i tried to keep this as uh, intuitive as possible because they have used the word like this intuitively explain this so no maths nothing and define the warranted rate of growth and natural rate of growth right thank you beta